Quite so frightening as the angry mob. They're totally breaking down the gate. What do we do? I warned Dave this would happen. And you were right. There's no stopping that mob now. Isn't it great? All these people here for the grand opening of my new shop? Who would have thought so many people would want knickknacks, trinkets, and doodads? I want knickknacks! Come on in! Dave's decorative knickknack shop is now. You should be selling a bunch of useless junk. It's not useless junk. It's one-of-a-kind collectible junk. I sell only the finest bouncy head dogs, tiki mugs, candy dishes shaped like chickens. Useless! Why do you like knickknacks instead of important stuff? Like smashing things and smashing other things. Oh, I see. The stuff you like is important and the stuff I like is useless. Mark my words, Fang. My obsession with decorative knickknacks will one day save us all. And if I'm wrong, may I be trampled by an angry mob? How dare you hold a grand opening for an empty store? Empty? But it... I say, let's run him over some more. You just make friends everywhere you go, don't you, David? Jabbers! I've... I've... I've been... robbed! Whoever did this, when I catch them, they're going to get a savage, brutal, bloodthirsty... Yeah? ...talking to. Dave, you're about as barbarian-y as a bucket of grandmas. Aha! What's this? I believe the technical term is the floor. No, this! It's a hole! Way to go, Dave. You broke the marketplace. What did this? Termites? No, something much worse. Vermites. It's squashing time! You can't squash vermites. They don't just eat wood, they eat everything. Stone, glass, metal. Big deal, let's go stomp them. Even human flesh. <coughs> live and let live, that's what I always say. It's too late for that. Nothing stops vermites. They'll keep eating until all of Udragoth is stripped down to the bedrock. The jabbers! Let me go, let me go, let me go! Are your knickknacks gonna save us now? No! The only way to stop those bugs is with a good old Right, Fang. Let's get out there and kick some. Look, a birdie. Doop. Our heroes soon discover that the Vermites have eaten their way through Udragoth. They've eaten the mountains. They've eaten the cheese. They've eaten the belts. <laughs> they've eaten the bees. And they've eaten the spongelo scrungelo trees. This narration gives me the heebie-jeebies, David. You and me both, Lula. But worst of all, they've eaten Dave's favorite frozen yogurt place. You can take a man's shop. You can devastate his land. You can obliterate his family, his friends, and all he cares for. But do not fool around with his frozen yogurt! Thus, Dave is at last forced into heroic action. Our heroes set out to end the insect menace, following the trail of destruction until they reach... the Vermite's Nest! <laughs> Let's poke you with a stick! the awesome power of decorative knickknacks would... Give it up! I could use my magic, uh... No, 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 no! Remember the last time you tried to exterminate bugs with magic? Adios, fly. Crap, you need Oh, well. Help me! Help me! Help me get this stupid jar open! Mm. Aha! So we meet again, Dave the Barbarian! And I see you brought your monkey. I'm not a monkey! Bananas! 
Say, maybe you can help settle a disagreement. You see, my sister doesn't take my interest in knickknacks seriously, and I would. No, my meddling Barbie. Just a second. Like taking my time, taking my... Now, my meddling barbarians, prepare to be destroyed by my vermoid army! <laughs> Wait, what's a silly piggy like you doing with an army of vermites? I'm very glad you asked that question. I made a deal with the vermites. I gave them something they wanted. <laughs> And in return, they're going to give me something I want. Diamonds? A pretty pony? Some glazed peaches? I do enjoy peaches. But no, they're going to level all of Udragoth so that in its place I can build Dark Lord Grove, a gated community for evil villains. Oh, it's going to be fabulous! There'll be tennis courts, a fitness facility with all the most advanced modern equipment. And an espresso bar where villains of every sort can gather to chat pleasantly. Ah, it'll be paradise. You could really spruce up this development of yours with some decorative knickknacks. Dave! Quit talking about that junk and take care of those bugs! All right, I'll make them an offer they can't refuse. I can give you fellas a very good price on bouncy head dogs and... Uh, yep, cue the fight scene. And so the battle is joined. Attack! Our heroes use everything at their disposal. Oswich uses his trusty wand. Refuming! Oh well. This is even more uncomfortable than it looks. Fang uses her trusty spear. Whoa, somebody must have missed breakfast. Candy uses her trusty martial arts. Don't mess with the princess! I'm okay. Taffy uses his trusty... Nothing. And Dave uses his trusty... All right, where's Dave? Shh! Ah, yes. Dave uses his trusty cowardice. Significant. Bug. Here's a fork so you can eat your words. <laughs> Did I say you were tiny and insignificant? I meant uh, shiny and incandescent. I have to destroy you now, sweetie. No offense meant. Oh, none taken. Hey, <gasps> where did you get that delightful bracelet? Oh, I made it myself. Do you really like it? You betcha. I could sell a zillion of those at Dave's decorative knickknack shop. Do you know it? Know it? I ate it! <laughs> Vermites carve all kinds of stuff with our teeth. We're very artistical. See? It's one of those cute little bouncy head dogs. Hello there! Hello there! <laughs> I love those! You're supposed to destroy him! We had a deal! You do what I say! Remember me? I'm the boss! The piggy! Me! 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 I got the amulet! I! Me! Me! Hold on, sweetie. So, what do you say, hun? You sell our knickknacks and we don't destroy your kingdom. Deal. Well, Fang, it seems Udragoth has been saved by my obsession with decorative knickknacks. I hate you so much right now, but 
Good job, wow. Dave. That's my tender spot. Meanwhile, far beneath the surface of the Earth... <laughs> you are now the prisoner and the queen of the mall, people. Yeah, whatever. Hey, nice place you got. Ever consider building a gated community for evil villains down here? I like the way you think, Piggy. Your stuff is gonna make us both rich, Queenie! At last! I'll be able to get my teeth whitened and pursue my lifelong dream of winning the Miss Udergoth pageant! Whee! I think I finally figured out what's wrong with that one spell. Crap, you ninja! The chappers! Today, as Lula, the enchanted sword, receives a letter. My sister Molly is coming to visit us! <laughs> hmm. Now that I think about it, we're going to have to start just a bit earlier. Our tale begins 20,000 years ago. In the mysterious Forge of the Gods. Here, all the world's enchanted implements were forged long ago. The Shield of Virtue. The Spear of Fate. The Mace of Truth, the Spoon of Polite Inquiry. Do you mind if I ask you what time it is? And of course, Lula and her older sister, an enchanted hammer named Molly. I want to be just like you when I grow up, Molly. Ha, <laughs> that she is, Squirt. Yes, Molly always looks down on Lula. Why can't you be more like your sister? I'm the star of the family, Squirt. You will always be number two. Number two. Number two. Number two. Number two. Meanwhile, 20,000 years later, Lula calls an important family meeting. My sister Molly is coming to visit. She's not sleeping in my bed! I finally got the sheets smelling how I like them. Molly's always been kind of, uh... A giant pain in the hilt. And, and when she asked me about you guys, I wanted to impress her. So I, uh, I lied. I told her that Dave's a famous barbarian hero instead of the cowardly twit he is. I told her Candy's the beautiful princess of a wealthy kingdom instead of the lame duck ruler of this grotesque stain on the map. And I suppose you told her I'm a perfect little lady who doesn't squash bugs. No, I told her you're an elf. Look. I even made you a costume. Duh, where are the bells? You can't be an elf without jingle bells. I figured you could just say jingle jingle a lot. You expect us to put on some kind of act just to impress your sister? What makes you think we're gonna go along with that? You forget. I have powers. I can protect us from your magic. I'm talking about my power to nag you all into an early grave. Guys, I think she's got us. Our heroes agree to perpetrate an elaborate deception upon Lula's older sister, Molly. So, what do you think? Nice castle, huh? Nice weather? Nice elf? Castles are dumb, weather's too hot, and your elf doesn't jingle enough. Jingle, jingle, jingle. <laughs> What is that? <laughs> oh, a dragon! Who will save us? Ha-ha! I... Line? Fear not, I shall save you all from the evil monster. Fear not, I shall save you all from the evil monster. <gasps> He threw that rock so hard that even though it missed, the wind it created defeated the monster. Uh, right. That's exactly what happened. Isn't it, Dave? Fine. And there's the kingdom of Gilfirm, where Prince Spavler the Handsome proposed to me. And there's the kingdom of Asternost, where Prince Barg the Very Handsome proposed to me. I don't and see any kingdoms. Where... They're very far away. But word of Princess Candy's wealth and beauty has spread to the farthest corners of the Earth. That's right, Lula. Pretty girl. Shame about the eye thing. <laughs> Ferocious lion attacking and junk. I'll save. Line. You. 
You! Growl. Growl. Uh, look, I... I skinned it for you! Jingle! 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 I know I've been hard on you over the years, but you have found a nice life and a nice family. Jingle! Jingle! And a strange little elf. Jingle! Monster! I will manquish the monster! Guys, that's like the fakest looking monster ever! I didn't make it! Neither did I! Uh oh! Now, monster face, the wrath of Dave, the barbarian? <laughs> Are you a real monster? Sure. Are you a real barbarian? Why, no. I'm a uh, cardboard. Darn it. You know where I can find a real barbarian? I'm, like, totally hungry. Pass the square, make a left at the fountain, then go straight about mm, 11,000 miles. Thanks, dude. Oh, you rock. All in a day's work for Dave, the barbarian. Oh, come on. That monster was obviously fake. Uh-uh. All the others were fake. Do uh -huh. And you, if you're so rich, we were all your servants. I'm having them dry cleaned? Why don't you tell me what's really going on here? And so Lula is forced to tell her sister that she is, in fact, a big, fat liar. Even the elf was a lie? But the jingle bells... All fake. Go ahead. Say I'm a failure. Well, at least you have a family who love you. What? I think you've got it, Great Hisses. In fact, would it be all right if I stayed for a while? Somewhere between a week and 10,000 years? The fact is, I, um... I left Thor. Thor! Thor! Oh, did I forget to mention that Molly is short for Mjolnir. As in Mjolnir, the mystic hammer of Thor? Yep. As in Thor, Norse god of thunder? That's him! As in guy who could turn us all into nasty little smears on the floor? Just by looking at us? I feel like you're trying to make a point, David. What are you guys looking for? You do not want to get a thunder god angry. Once my cousin Gormo cut in front of Zeus in line, and he got turned into a trash can! <laughs> Hey, baby, how's it going? Oh, yeah, she digs me. Oh, don't worry, there's no way Thor could find me here. That's a relief. Unless he reads my notes saying I'm an Udra goth. Pajabbers! Eh, uh, but the big leg can't read. That's a relief. So, I drew him a map. Pajabbers! Of course he can't read maps either. That's a relief. Well, I guess I'll have to follow the trail of breadcrumbs I left. I lost track. Is this where I say that's a relief or pajabbers? <laughs> Remember? The Jabbers! I am Thor, God of the Storm! I don't care if he's the God of Franks and Beans, he is one major hottie! Wow. Who among you hotters mighty me all near? <laughs> Thor, these people are not afraid of you. I am. Uh, oh, Thor! What do you say we take in a concert at the Ultra Bowl? Genghis Timberlake is playing. Uh, Dave, do something! This static electricity is killing my do! Must run away, or at least scream. <laughs> no wonder Molly left you. You're just a big Sensitive bully! You dare call Thor insensitive? I mean, abrupt, maybe, blunt even, but insensitive? Yes, insensitive! Hm. Now, how does that make you feel, Thor? She's only with me for the glory. Look at me. I'm with the God of Storms. And boy, does she ever show off for the paparazzi. Molly, do you hear what Thor is saying? What about his family? His brother Tia called me a mallet. Thor, do you really believe you've treated Molly fairly? I... no. I know I can be thoughtless. Uh, Molly, I'm sorry I ever took you for granted. Please come back to Thrudime. Molly, I think Thor means it. All right. You 
big lummox. Yippee! Thanks, sis. You know, I've always admired you. Oh, you have? I have. You always were the smart one. And you have a nice family here. See you around, squirt. Goodbye, puny mortals. Oh, and you can send me the bill for the roof. Yes, Lula has at last proven herself in the eyes of her sister. Like anyone cares what a hammer thinks. So, do you have any more sisters we should know about? Nope. Lula, I broke up with Poseidon, the Greek god of the sea. Lula? What? She's a cousin. Come on, do it again. Come on, come on. <laughs> Oh, man, that is so boss! It's nearly time for some Hakuna Matata with those grub grubbers Timon and Pumbaa, next on Disney Cinemagic. They just love bugs!